Welcome back to Sergeant Vapes and Things, where we're vaping and we're talking about things. So, I've got a great review for you tonight, a lot to talk about, but real quick, it's been a year since I started vaping. It's been a year since I got off the cigarettes. It's been a year since we started our review channel. It's been almost a year since we started our deployed soldier charity called Echo. So please don't forget to subscribe. By subscribing, you are helping us put anything within the vaping industry into deployed soldiers hands on a monthly basis. Right now we're taking care of Camp Buren, Kuwait, Camp Arif John, uh, Kuwait. Got a couple guys up in Iraq. We're trying to get all through the Middle East, anywhere where there's a deployed soldier who cannot get to a vape shop, we are trying to take care of. So please subscribe because the more subscribers we get, the more we can donate. The more companies will work with us and the more we can donate. Remember, we only review for companies that are willing to donate for Echo. PIF donations only. So, if you watched my last review, we're starting to get into some of the high-end vaping. Remember, you know, the collectors, the, the um, a step above the hobbyist, the investors, so to speak, where you're gonna spend some money, but you're getting a lot of quality products. You're getting great hand-built, handmade quality products, nothing coming off of a production line. So tonight, we have an e-liquid cannoli B1 from Casadega Liquids. John Nathan, if I screwed this up, man, I'm sorry. I'll sing for you if I screwed that name up, I promise. Um, Casa de Ga Liquids, Cannoli B1. Right here's the bottle. And this is exactly like a cannoli liquefied into a bottle. It's phenomenal. It's loaded up in the RTA that we are going to be reviewing tonight. The Hurricane RTA made by E Phoenix, Swiss made, Swiss produced RTA. This this bad boy right here is phenomenal. This um, has changed my vaping style. I'm no longer vaping at 60 watts and chasing the clouds. I'm down to 25 watts and vaping for flavor. So this RTA right here has really changed my whole vaping style. I love it and I want to bring it to you. This is the Hurricane version 1.3. Um, if I didn't say that correctly, I'm sorry. It's 1.3. Um, if you guys watched any of the other reviews, uh, Phil Brasardo did a review. I think he did the version 1.2, and some things have been changed from the 1.2 to the 1.3, which we'll discuss about. I have it all broke apart down here for you guys to show you piece by piece, and we'll dig in. Let's get into this. Let's get into this review. But man, this cannoli, I tell you what, this cannoli, and I'll tell you guys where to get everything in the description. As always, I'll provide the links and everything else. So. Alright you guys, so when you get your Hurricane RTA, this is the packaging that it comes in, right here. Nice plastic, or not plastic, but nice flat black box. It says right there, E Phoenix Swiss made, www.ephoenixsig.com. This is the box that it comes in. Slides out. I can actually get it to come out here. What the heck's going on? There we go. Just a little hard. Okay. This is what it looks like all put together. Now, yes, I have a couple of them on hand right now because these are going to, to uh, two different deployed soldiers. So there you can see laser engraved, E Phoenix, Swiss made. And on the other side, it says. The Hurricane. 316 stainless steel. PMMA tank. 10 different airflow options. It's dual airflow, so you can either cut it off to one side or keep it open for both. It has like a uh, a ball pin in there which makes the if you hear it clicking 
makes it buttery smooth to change your airflow. Actually really smooth to the point that whenever you tighten your tank on it, you can actually change your airflow by accident. So just make care, be careful you know what you're doing there. You don't change your airflow. But there it is on fully open on both sides right there. So let's show you piece by piece. All right, so like I said, it does come with a PMMA tank, solid tank. I believe this is an upgrade from the version 1.2 to the version 1.3. Uh, like I said, PMMA tank, a lot better tank, solid tank, not cracking, not breaking within reason. Uh, no juice is making it crack. You got a couple designs right there, little little bubbles. Right here you have your chimney, which I just showed you up close and personal, the Hurricane. Swiss made, Swiss produced, my first Swiss product, and I absolutely love it. Your drip tip. Right here is your uh, wicking lead. Here's your base. Now I have a build on it already just to save some time so the video is not extremely long. Gold plated, positive, negative post, gold plated 510 connector. Well, it's gold plated brass. Nice size flathead screws to keep your leads in place. I mean, this thing is just buttery, buttery smooth. You do get some extra O-rings with it. I mean, it's just so smooth. Oh. Just phenomenal. Okay. Uh, yeah, you get your card, comes in the box. So, well, well, oh, and you get some extra pieces. Now, you don't get extra pieces with it. You have a couple options that you can buy a couple extra things. You can buy a bell cap, clear bell cap for it to change it out from the PMMA tank to the clear bell cap. All these pieces run about 40 to 60 dollars. You can get a stainless steel tank, which I highly recommend that if you do buy this product, you look for a stainless steel tank. Just in case your tank cracks, you have this as a backup. You know, the pieces are pretty hard to find. This tank is pretty hard to find. Um, we'll explain more about that when we go up top. So if you do get a hurricane, Try to make sure you either find yourself an extra tank or get the stainless steel tank. And I was lucky enough to get on a list last month to be able to get the top filled tank made by a completely different company, which I will provide the links below. But I do have a top filled for mine. They are not top filled. Okay. You have to, in order to fill them up, Got to do it old school, guys. You just fill it right up to the top of that chimney right there. And put it down in and screw it. But if you're lucky enough to get a top-filled cap, a definitely, or a top-filled tank, I definitely recommend you get an extra PMMA tank and you get the top-filled portion. So you get the whole thing. So, all right, so let's go ahead and put a, some wick through that. Like I said, I already got the build put on there uh, just to save some time. But as you can see, you know, you got to keep enough space in between your positive and negative pins. Um, it's not a pretty build, you guys, but it's just a build to show you. You're going to want to use a smaller diameter 
screwdriver or whatever you use to twist to make sure that you can fit it properly in between the uh, flathead screwdrivers or flathead screws and not touching either side. So let's go ahead and put some wick into it and show you uh, some of the wicking techniques that I was taught and so far I've been running mine about three weeks right now solid and I have not had a dry hit yet and the flavor oh the flavor is something I got my wick right through it I'm gonna pull it through fluff it out a little bit okay and then we're gonna take the wick and bend it up like so and put your cap on it make sure that you have the slots in this cap lined up with your coil so it's kind of you're kind of getting a straight a straight shot there to the coil okay so there you have your wick now you got one or two options of how to wick okay I'll show you each option on the different side if that makes any sense to you guys so you can either cut it straight on the side right there and leave a little bit hanging out like that which is fine or what you can do is as another technique cut it just like you cut the other side like that bring it up and fold it use my scissors bring it up and fold it down so it just basically sits flush right there so it's just sitting flush it's not hanging out like that side is uh, both techniques work just fine I haven't had a problem with either or right now in mine I'm running it with it folded down in like that okay make sure that's down there tight don't forget this bad boy right here put it right back on top like that make sure your tank is filled up go ahead and put the the glass back on it or not the glass but the tank make sure it's filled up make sure you got your wick all uh, saturated with the juice and put it down on there screw it on see what I'm saying when I was screwing it on how the airflow is changing it's just buttery smooth and there you have it built ready to go ready to vape like I said, this thing has changed my life. I went from 60 watts chasing clouds down to 25 watts enjoying the flavor. Now, there you guys see it. It's all put together. We're going to go back up top. I'm going to explain where you can get it, how much it is, and a little bit more about it. So let's go back up top. All right, you guys. So that's the Hurricane RTA. Uh, you don't believe me? There you go. 25 watts. The flavor on this is phenomenal. Um, I've been vaping Bad Drip since July. Bad Drip is the only thing I actually drip with or put in my RTAs on a general basis. I put that cereal trip in there and I was getting different notes off that cereal trip than I've got off of any other RTA, RDA, or tank prior to I got a whole different flavor experience same thing with ugly butter 
Same thing with Cannoli B1. When I first got this bottle, I put it into a tank and it just seemed a little bit way too sweet for me. Um, put it in the Hurricane and it's just smooth. It's just a great flavor. Um, this is an expensive RTA. Like I said in the very beginning, this is a high end. Um, you're going to spend around 100 150 to 180 dollars depending on where you can find it if you can find it um, and then you got all the extra options to go with it so if you get a brand new hurricane rta and you get the bell cap or you get the stainless steel cap you're looking up close to around 250 now that's brand new you know if you can find it though like i said i've actually got all my all my hurricanes i have three of them two of them are going there are four of them. Three of them are going to the deployed soldiers. Uh, the one, this one here for myself. And, you know, they've all been secondhand. I've had to go into marketplaces and different groups and ask, hey, does anybody have any hurricanes they're willing to sell? You know, such. Because as soon as they go on a few websites, which we'll post the link, the one is off the top of my head is Hardcore Vapors. They're sold out instantly. Or, you know, they come out with lists where they're selling 25 of them and in a group within three seconds of that post, you know, they're all X1 and they're gone. So it is kind of hard to find one of these brand new straight from the company. Now, I got lucky the other day. The soldiers asked me if we could find it and I put an interest post out in two different marketplaces and boom, I had a lot of people willing to want to sell theirs. So I got lucky. Um, but if you can get your hands on one of these, I highly recommend you do. Um, I've not vaped off of another tank since I put my first build on this and been vaping it. Now they're coming out with a special edition which is whew, sexy. It's black rainium which is right in the same line as platinum. I found out I had to actually look up what rainium was. <clears throat> but it's black rose gold. I'll post a picture of it right now boom picture really want that but i know that's going to be it's limited edition and i know that's going to probably run around 350 400 dollars i'd be highly surprised if they sell that at 200 to 250 dollars but maybe we'll get lucky and they do if i can even get my hands on one but i definitely want to get another one um like I said, you guys, we're trying to take this into the high-end game. So this is a great tank, great RTA for your high-end mod if you're into high-end collecting. Now, let's talk about John Nathan's Casadega Liquids Cannoli B1. I had to go out. I never had a cannoli before. And I kept seeing this bottle of juice going through all the pages that I was on, all the high-end pages I was going on, everybody raving about the juice. So one, let's talk about John Nathan's character, the owner of this juice. Awesome guy. Funnier than all hell. Um, you know, emotional guy, great guy, just all around big ball package of a great guy. Sent me a bottle for uh, the shop to try as a tester, which, yes, John Nathan, this is still the bottle that uh, I took down to the shop. And I never had a cannoli before. So I was vaping on it, but I couldn't really tell, like, hey, is this what it's supposed to be like? Because I never had a cannoli before. So I had to go down to my local pastry shop, buy some cannolis, bring it back. I bought a strawberry cannoli, a regular cannoli, and chocolate chip cannoli. And this is spot on cannoli. Forget about it. Them cannolis. Mwah. You guys like cannolis? Get yourself a bottle. I believe they're running probably around $20 for a 30 mil. And he sent out, John Nathan sent out a care package to one of my deployed soldiers who is receiving the hurricane which he's also receiving my other Osiris mod. We take care of our own around here. Um, John Dillon, my boy for life, my brother from another mother. He's an admin on all my pages and he's what's gonna take Echo to the next level with us. So big shout out to John. Um, 
But anyways, he sent him a personal care package, so that's why we're reviewing the juice, because he already donated without sending it to me to go over. He directly sent it over there. So a big shout out, John Nathan, for doing that. And if you guys get a chance and you like cannolis, go support him and his company and his just the nature of him is a great person. The flavor notes is phenomenal. I know juice is subjective, but you get the pastry, you get the creaminess, you get everything a cannoli is supposed to be about, especially on the back notes. I mean, you get it like right there when you're licking your lips and you, you got that last little bit of vapor coming out. It's right there that seriously it tastes like you just bit into a cannoli and you swallowed it. It's a phenomenal juice. So here's one of his cards that he sent me. Um, Facebook page. He has it set up and we'll post a link below and that's about it um, you know got another high-end tank coming which isn't brand new to the market but it's gonna be new to us it's called the Pico tank so you guys are seeing you're seeing the new what is it is it Kanger tech or joy tech Pico well we got the authentic Pico tank coming it's it's a little guy it's supposed to be excellent for flavor so we're gonna be reviewing that next but for our year our year to date, our year anniversary, what I'm wanting to do is do a collection, a video with the soldiers and where we started and where we are today and how we've grown and all the great that we've done for the community. Because remember guys, we are a vaping community. We need to be there for one another. This is such a cutthroat company. Somebody can be your best friend one day and next thing you know they're not. The vaping industry is just crazy. But we all need to be there for one another. If you haven't seen Phil Brasardo's post, what he posted yesterday, check it out. It's flowing all through Facebook. He hit the, the, the he hit it head on. I mean, I'm so glad that he was able to be so blunt about it and get everybody's attention about it because we all need to be there for one another. So, all right, you guys, that's about it. I know the video got long. Um, hope I didn't miss anything. And. Please let me know what you're thinking, what you think about the videos, how we can grow, what we can do to be better. And please don't forget to subscribe because like I said in the beginning, you know, subscribing helps us. So by you subscribing, the more subscribers we have, the more the companies will want us to review for them, the more they will donate for us to send it over to the seas. So that's how it works. That's the only reason why we review is to be able to donate to the deployed soldiers. So thank you guys. Thanks for watching and... Till next time, see you later. Uh, cannoli be one, get yourself some. All right, you guys, I'm out.